Hey, it's the champ Antonio Tarvin. You're listening to Tarvis Take, the most informative take in boxing. Just remember where you heard it first. Uh, November 9th, man, big fight weekend coming to you live from Philadelphia once again. And uh, we're on the zone. Uh, you know, the zone to be covering, man, two of the most exciting fighters in the game today. And I'm talking about Jerome Boots Ennis and Bam Bam Rodriguez, Jesse Bam Bam Rodriguez, man. Uh, and, and both of them are defending their titles. Uh, Boots Ennis in a rematch and Bam Bam against Pedro uh, Javara. Javara, man, uh, coming in and uh, used to be an interim champion, but now faces Bam Bam in the WBC Super Flyweight Championship. And, uh, you know, Javara is coming in, man, with over 40 fight ring experience. You know, that's going to be, you know, that's going to be significant. But, you know, Bam Bam faced a guy that had the similar, you know, uh, record, had 40 or more fights. But the difference was, in Estrada, you know, he had been multi-division, multi-time champion. You know, with uh, with uh, Javara, we don't have that. You know, we don't have that, but he does, you know, uh, has never been knocked out. So that's something that, you know, we can look forward to, to see can Bam Bam do something that hasn't been done before, and that's stop Javara inside the distance. Now, we know, you know, Bam Bam have, you know, that – style and that rhythm man that movement that he has to set up all of this you know crushing combination and he catching these guys man while you know they least expect it and i love to see that in a fighter man to have that type of rhythm that he can pick those angles at any time when you think he's in front of you he's on either the left side or the right side and he's picking you clean man and that makes boot uh bam bam a tough out for anyone, man. And if he can get by uh, Javara in good fashion, man, it really sets up some major fights for uh, for Jesse for Jesse Rodriguez, man, anywhere in, around that flyweight division. You know what I mean? We got another veteran. And, you know, Estrada was a veteran also, man. Uh, he was 35, uh, 10 years older than 24-year-old, you know, Bam Bam Rodriguez. So these are the flyweights and any around that, Anywhere around that area, these are older statement, statement in, in, statements in the division. You know what I mean? And these guys have been around for a long, long time. They're very experienced. And, and you know, and, and it's, it's Bam Bam responsibility, man, to really eliminate all of these veterans of the, the game. You feel me? The uh, Chief uh, Chocolito Gonzalez is of the game. You know, a veteran of uh, 56 fights. These are guys that have held titles and multi-flyweight divisions. So, you know, these are guys that are really seasoned in the game. You feel me? And these are the guys that, you know, Bam Bam having a, a, a real age difference. He's the young guy, you know what I mean? The young superstar in the division. And I think it's going to be his responsibility to eliminate all of these older guys that's still, you know, good enough to compete for championships. You know what I mean? If he's stopping them inside the distance like he did, Estrada, the way he set it up, man, that was beautiful. You know what I mean? Dug him to the body after being knocked down and dropped in the sixth round himself. So that shows that he has the chin and he has the, the heart to really, you know, get back up. And he knocked him out within that same round. That shows a lot, man. And so he really sat down one of the gatekeepers in the division. And now if he can, you know, maybe fight uh, Chocolito later on, early, middle of next year, and then it's, he's a few pounds away from in your way. And that would be what you would call a pound for pound type super, super fight. You feel me? And I believe that's a arena fight in a lot of countries, man, definitely over in Japan. And I wouldn't be surprised, you know, if they can fill up a, a, a stadium here you know, in the U.S., man, because that would definitely be in that flyweight division, bantamweight division, two of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters today. So that will be something we can look forward to, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, as Boots, I'm sorry, as Bam Bam continue to look dominant and, and you know, and look exceptional in the ring, man. And so we're looking for another sensational performance from Jesse Bam Bam Rodriguez. And, man, we're going to have to start – talking pound for pound, you feel me? If he it continues this way, man, definitely going to have to start putting him 
in everyone's pound for pound list. So uh, he got a tough guy in front of him, a guy that had held the interim title, but never has he faced and won a championship. So, you know, we expect, I don't expect the upset here. I think Bam Bam is on his game. So, man, uh, be on the lookout for that. And the main event, man, is one of the most, like I said, again, most gifted fighters, talented, and can do pretty much everything in the ring, man. His offensive arsenal is second to none. You feel me? Uh, what makes him so exciting is, you know, he can he, he get hit sometime. He don't get hurt, but he get hit. And, man, that brings about a, 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 a vulnerability that keeps you on the edge of your seats. You feel me? But if you are fortunate enough to get a good shot in on Boots, man, he usually, you know, clip you or pick you right then and there. So he's one of the best counter punches in the game. And, and I just like the way he go about his business, you know, his head movement, keeping that jab in your face from the southpaw stance. Now, this is a rematch of a guy that took him the distance and had some moments in the fight. You know, you know, there's a guy that, uh, you know, really know how to move his feet, man. And I think his feet uh, really kept him in the game, man. Uh, and, and so he had opportunities, but again, you know, he didn't ever really time boots in as like he wanted to. Everything he did land kind of missed him missed the mark you feel me never did he hurt him he did land some combination i think boots is going to have to find uh another uh strategy you know he was loading up and getting that the power in but i believe the way he break this guy down is with his speed and combination sort of like you feel me crawford did you know against his last opponent you feel me really had to put that speed with it and that's how i believe he can get uh, find some success to really land those big shots. But, you know, uh, again, it, the guy, you know, was there and was able to really make it a a, a a mental fight game, a mental fight. You feel me? He wasn't really going for none of the slickness. He wasn't really, it was hard to trick him. So it was a guy, you know, even though, you know, he hadn't really did much after he did go to decision with boots he didn't do much after that he fought a guy i think his last fight fought a guy 13 and one and he won a unanimous decision but really didn't do anything so great management to get him back you feel me with an opportunity like this now it wasn't a lot of big fights out there you know for boots we know boots was really looking to get you know a crawford type of fight but it wasn't meant to be and, you know he's still in the in the hunt for that big one though in a in a good win you know, again in Philadelphia. And, and I think if he can do better, maybe stop this guy this time, it really shows, you know what I mean, that he's still improving and getting better. You know, I think he could have did a lot more body work in the first fight, you know what I mean? But again, a test to uh, Charvinian, man. His name is so dang hard to uh, pronounce. Uh, Shahadrian, Char Char that's it. Shahadrian. <laughs> so he had good footwork and he was dangerous, man. He was like he was he, he, he was throwing the right punches, but never could time or counter in his uh in his to, to have a real effect on him. So uh he, he was contested though. But I think you know Boots gonna want to pick up the offense, you know, a little bit more early here and, and try to get this guy out of there. If he can do that, man and continue to mow through the way, uh, mow down the welterweight division. You know what I mean? It, it continues to have those rumbles out there, you know, for, for the Crawford fight. If in fact Crawford ever come back down to the welterweight division, or uh, maybe they can meet at a catch weight. So, you know, there you have it, man. I'm going to be looking forward to Philadelphia. I might slide up there. I, mean, I got a lot of homies up there. A lot of people I ain't seen in a long time. So I might slide up there. I'm, I'm sure it'll be worth it. So if you can't get up there, man, make sure you tap into the zone. You know what I mean? There you have it. You've been listening to Tarvis Tate. Until the next time, stay tapped in, and I'll talk to you then.